Thank you, Mr. Powell. Mr. Yancey. Uh, good morning to the chairman and this uh, honorable committee. You know, I sit here, I am the elephant in the room. I committed a crime a long time ago in 1983. Spent 20 years in Angola, and I've been out now 15 years. I go back to prison, and I try to help people. I teach Sunday school in my church. I pay my taxes. And you know, when I read the history of the Constitution and what was intended when the lawmakers put this together, they did not say that I could never have the right to vote. Imprisonment means that, as the judge said, I was inside the four walls. And inside those four walls, the 20 years that I spent, I never had a rule infraction. I never had a write-up. And now I'm out and I pay taxes, but I pay my state taxes. I do everything I'm supposed to do, but I can't vote. That is a fundamental right that people should have. And I know when I sit here and I look at it and I read about the Jim Crow and the disenfranchisement, and when you really look at it, it is just mean-spirited. I would ask people to just look at people, and I'm not here to defend uh, what I did. I did something I had no business doing, but I'm not the same person. When I can drop my wife off, and I can't go in the voting polls and she can vote. But nobody told me that because you've been in prison, you don't have to pay your income tax. <laughs> so I pay my taxes and I help pay for some of your salaries. But you tell me. Much. Huh? Which isn't much, by the way. Well, you know, but guess what? If go I don't ahead. pay my I taxes, apologize. and I'm not trying to, you know, but if I don't pay my taxes, then I'm on another penalty. But you tell me that I can't vote. You don't represent me. I don't have any say so. You don't even care about people like me that's been to prison and trying to do the right thing. Last year we passed reform. We did everything to try to get people to be better. What do you expect people to do when they come out of prison? I've been punished. I've been corrected. And I'm doing the right thing. But now you tell me I can't vote. Now, I thought about this, and I'm not saying this to be funny. Maybe if you suspend me and tell me that I don't have to pay my taxes and I can keep all my money, maybe that might be a good trade-off. <laughs> because then be, I'm really, because I'm, I'm already disenfranchised, right? You might start a trend there. <laughs> well, you know, and then let's let's start that trend. Let's Let's bring it back, though, and let's get back. You know, we put a lot of cotton on people's back. People come out, they can't get housing, they can't get employment, there's all kind of barriers, and now you say, I can't vote. But if I do all the right things, and I do all the right things, and I've been out 15 years, wouldn't this body think that at least I'd have a right to go and pull the level? I might have to vote for one of you and keep you in office. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Yancey. Thank you for your testimony.